Definitely, as we're starting off this morning, going to be a cold start out there, but we are clear, so no travel delays expected for today. Look at this, 19, though, waking up with a wind chill of 12. Now, the northwest wind fairly light at 5, and as we look at the current conditions around the state right now, we're all generally clear, but it's just a cold start as we're in the teens. Now, the wind this morning starting off from the west-northwest, it's going to switch directions a little bit on us today to the southwest. Gust maybe about 10 to 15, so not looking at a real windy day, but you just factor in a little of that light winds this morning with the cold temperatures. Single digits for wind chills from Spencer to Mason City, even a Tumwa this morning, right at six degrees. So satellite and radar this morning, everything's looking clear. You'll just need the sunglasses as you head out, maybe traveling today. As we look off toward the west, we do have some mid to high level clouds that are going to advance their way toward the east later on. So I do think that we'll see some mid to high level clouds increasing as we get into the afternoon time frame. Maybe a few flurries up of uh, northern Iowa with the forecast today, lower 30s from Waterloo to Decorah. Here's your chance maybe of, of some flurries under those clouds, but the rest of us again going to stay dry right around 40 here for the metro area. So as we look at the big picture here, high pressure is going to advance toward the east. So again, that allows our uh, wind to turn more southwesterly. There's the chance of maybe a few flurries ahead of a warm front that will cross through the state later today. But really, it's just all about the warm forecast that we're going to be having the next couple of days. I mean, our averages should be in the lower 40. So looking ahead to your Thanksgiving day, I think we're going to make it to right around 50 degrees. We will see plenty of sunshine going into your Thanksgiving day. So that's good news there. Maybe you want to plan the football uh, game with the family and friends in the yard after dinner. The evening going to be a clear night right around 40, so not as cold. And like I mentioned, that begins the warm up. Looking ahead to the, your Black Friday, right around 63 degrees. Probably going to see some clouds from time to time on Friday, and it will be a little windy. That wind will be from the south, gust about 25 to 35 miles per hour. And even looking ahead to your weekend, here's the game day forecast for the Cornhuskers and Hawkeyes. 67 at tailgate time, and the kickoff right around 64, but it's going to stay a dry day. I mean, you look at that, it's just kind of incredible for late November. Here's your eight day stretch staying dry 63 on Friday, Saturday kind of a dip there, but not too bad. Mm -hmm. Great weekend to maybe get outdoors and put the Christmas lights up if yeah. you haven't done that yet. And then we're back to 60 degrees on Monday. Nice.